Hi first grade, today we're going to be talking about radial designs. When someone mentions the word radial, what they're meaning is that the lines or whatever is in the picture gives you the feeling that it's moving outward in all directions. So this one of what I think is a sun would be a radial design. Now, sometimes your radial design can be symmetrical and then sometimes it's not. So for instance, this one has a little bit of both if you think about it, because there's some characters on the side left that don't appear on the right, but in some places it's totally the same on the left as it is on the right. For this project, I'm going to be showing you how to create a radial design on a piece of paper. However, some of you don't have paper or art supplies or just aren't interested in doing it the way that I'm doing it, and that's totally fine if you find something in your house that looks radial, or if you wanna come up with your own method of maybe using found objects to make a radial design, it is totally up to you. We're gonna be studying Spiral Jetty by Robert Smithson. So he is an earth art artist that is a tongue twister, but he likes to make art out of, well, the earth. He likes to use rocks and dirt and water. Now, of course, he didn't put the earth or the mountains or the water there, but he specifically chose this spot because he knows that he can manipulate the earth, move rocks, keep the water in a certain place, and it will make something that is really meaningful to him. Hey first grade, it's really good to see you again. I'm so excited for you to try out this project. For this project, you'll need a few different things. However, remember, you can always create the project that you have it. Um, it could be that you have different materials at home, or maybe you just don't want to do it the way that I did it. That's totally fine. As long as you're being inspired by our lesson and radial designs, however you want to express that to me is totally fine. So what I'm going to use for my project is a piece of construction paper. I have some yarn and I'll need some scissors as well, some glue, and then some drawing materials at the end. And it's up to you what kind of drawing materials you want to use if you want to do it the way I did. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper over with a triangle. We've talked about this before. If you ever want to make a not square piece of paper, a square, just fold one corner over as far as it will go fold the triangle and then you're going to see that this side this rectangle can be cut off when you open it up you should have a square piece of paper so now that i have my square piece of paper i think i'm going to show you how we can make a radial design all right now this could be a little bit messy but we're actually going to use glue and yarn to draw and so i don't think we've done this yet in first grade when you get to second grade we definitely have some projects like this so you get a little head start before everyone else lucky you so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut just a little bit of the string you don't need the something big 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 i'm going to draw myself a spiral now you can do whatever you want to do as far as drawing with the glue just watch me first that we have an idea of what to do i'm going to make a spiral out of the glue and yarn but I know that if I just use all the glue at once, it could dry before I get a chance to use it, or it's just gonna make a big, huge mess, and I know that your parents out there or whoever takes care of you would not like that. I don't like it, you wouldn't like it either. All right, so I'm going to draw a little bit of my spiral, just a little bit. And you're probably thinking, Mr. Beaufort, why don't you just do the whole thing? Well, I could do the whole thing if I was a glue hog, but I'm not gonna do that because I know that if I take my time and if I push the yarn, like you see I'm doing it now, it's actually gonna turn out better and neater. Because the um, glue takes a little bit to dry. So if I do it all at once, it's probably gonna be a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going around and I'm taking the glue and I'm pushing in the yarn. So if you think about it, I'm kind of drawing with fiber, with the yarn. Now, of course, you don't have to do the spiral but if you are, just do it in little tiny segments. You could cut up the yarn and make little broken lines. You could do zigzag lines with the glue. I would just recommend doing whatever design you're doing big because the smaller it is, probably the harder it's gonna be to use with the yarn. So I'm almost done. What I'm thinking is, is once I'm done with this spiral, I can go back and add some design and patterns. So if you want yours to be symmetrical, you could think about ways that you could do your design and what you draw in all directions. Maybe you want it asymmetrical. Maybe you don't want it to look the same as it does on the other side. So remember that one piece of art I showed you where it was asymmetrical. Or maybe it's both. Maybe the spiral is gonna be symmetrical, but everything outside it is different. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna start drawing. 
All right, it's been a few minutes and it hasn't quite dried yet already, but I wanted to get maybe a start on the outside and work my way in. And I'm gonna be using some oil pastels. Uh, these are the Prang oil pastel crayons. Obviously, if you have crayons or markers or colored pencils at home, whatever works is fine. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what oil pastels can do if you're interested. Now, first thing about oil pastels is they can be really messy and they're messy on purpose because they're meant to blend. The reason I'm using these is because I wanna make something that reminds me of nature. So that's why I chose this green color and I'm probably gonna be choosing some cool colors, maybe some blues for water. You know, I'm probably gonna use some of this yellow and orange. Oh, I'm gonna use all colors actually. Um, I'm just gonna make something that reminds me of nature. You don't have to create something inspired by nature, but that's just my inspiration today. Like I said, that was some messy business. The cool thing about this is that the oil pastels, you can take your finger and kind of blend it. Um, the praying version that I'm using are a little bit less messy, so this is better for at home, but if you already have some oil pastels, amazing. All right, guys, this is what I came up with. I was inspired by the sun, the earth, water, fire, warm and cool colors. I bet that you could come up with something even more innovative than me, and I'm so excited to see what you're gonna create. Bye-bye. Thank you.